of transition of the line segment joining these two points. One line is there. Dissection means a line divides in three equal parts. All the parts are equal. All the parts are equal. Is it clear? So it means a line is divided in the ratio of one is to one is to one. Coordinates of A is four by comma minus one. Coordinates of B is minus two and minus two. We need to find coordinates of C and D. Now we need to find coordinates of C and D. How we find it? If we are going to find the coordinates of C, like these coordinates are X and Y. Coordinates of point is X and Y. If we need to find X, we are going to use formula M1, x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2 so x is equal to m1 is 1 x2 <laughs> minus 2 whose mic is on M2 की बात करूं तो ये लाइन किस रेशियो में डिवाइड हो गया अगर यहां से यहां तक 1 है तो यहां से यहां तक कितना हो गया रेशियो दिस इज 2 सो लाइन इज डिवाइडेड इन द रेशियो ऑफ 1 इज टू 2 एंड x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 इज 4 Ma'am, one plus two होगा ना? Yes. So coordinate of x is two. Now we are going to find the coordinates of y. Again, we are going to put the section formula. One multiplied by minus three plus Two multiplied by minus one upon one plus two, we can say y is equal to minus three minus two upon three or minus five upon three. Now we got the coordinates of. X and Y, which is 
2 and minus 5 upon 3. Now we have to find the coordinates of D only. So by taking this line only, this, this line. We can find the coordinates of D very easily. BC line is divided in the ratio of 1 is to 1. And coordinates of C is 2 and minus 5 upon 3. And minus 2 upon minus 3, minus 2 and minus 3. So we can very easily find the coordinates of D. If a line divides in equal parts, or D is a midpoint of BC, then we have to use the formula x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2. And y is equal to y1 plus y2 upon 2. Instead of x1, we can write To try to do it yourself. Do it quickly. Do it quickly, beta. Ma'am, 0 and minus 7 by 3. Yes. So by putting the value, x1 is 2. And x2 is minus 2 upon 2. So it is 0 upon 2 or we can say where x is equal to 0. Similarly, we can put All of you have done. Yes, ma'am, done. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Do it quickly. Now I'm going to discuss question number four. First, I am going to discuss question number four with you. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining the points is divided by minus one and six. Here we need to find the ratio. A line is given to us. Coordinates of A is minus three and 10. Coordinates of B is
we need to find ratio in which the line is divided. So, ratio between AC and CB is K is to 1. Because M1 upon M2 is equal to any of the variable which is K and 1. So M1 and M2 always in the ratio of K is to 1. K means constant term. Any constant term. So by using same formula, x is equal to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m2. m1 is k and x is minus 1. Here yeah, this is the value of x. This is x and y. And x2 is 6 plus m2 is 1 and x1 is minus k upon k plus 1. So by cross multiplying it, we get minus k minus 1 is equal to 6k minus 3. We get so ratio is two is two seven. Do it quickly. I'm done. Yes, done, all of you. Yes, ma'am. Now comes the next question. Find the ratio in which the line segment joining these coordinates is divided by the x-axis. Coordinates of A is given to us. Coordinates so of B is given to us. And a line is divided on x axis. It's been coordinates of C is x axis for y is always zero. We need to find the ratio, which is x. K is to one. 
we need to find the ratio. Here you can see zero is there. So first we will find y is equal to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2. So by putting the values, which is zero, m1 is k, y2 is five plus m2 is one, and y1 is minus five upon k plus one. Cross multiply, we get zero is equal to five k minus five. So we get five k is equal to five and k is equal to five upon five and we get one. So line is divided in the ratio of one is to one. And next part, also find the coordinates of the points of the zone. When we find the value of k, which is one, we easily find x. Do it quickly. I'm done. I'm done. Clear to you, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Comes to next question. Penelogram is given to us. Vertex of parallelogram is also given to us. A, B, C, and D. Vertex are one is to two. Four is to Y. Axis to six. Find X and Y. So we see the properties of diagonal. Oh, sorry, properties of parallelogram. In parallelogram, diagonals are equal or not? 
in parallelogram diagonals are equal or not ma'am no not ma'am no in parallelogram diagonals no. bisect each other or not ma'am yes yeah. yeah. yes yes very nice in parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel and diagonals yes. bisect each other Here you can easily find it is divided in the ratio of one is to one. Are you able to find the value of y? Then yes. Dd is a line. Yes, ma'am. Coordinates is three and five, and four and five. 